Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India and once again I am here with my new tutorial for CGTutes Plus exclusively. You must have seen in the preview what I am going to make today. So let's start. But uh, I am lazy enough to make uh, a bulb in 3D. So I search for it on Google and I get this website artist-3d.com where someone has donated a 3D model of a bulb. This is made by some uh, goofy 9833 and my this kind friend has made this model available freely for everyone. Great. So I downloaded this free file. It's in 3ds Max file format. Now I open the same file here and uh, it gives me this error message. This is because I don't have V-Ray installed in my system. Nevertheless, I open it and now this comes. Two bulbs, one camera and uh, if you press M to open material editor, you get this. All the material slots have become black. So this is just because uh, uh, I just show you uh, why this happens and uh, how to rectify this problem. Go to rendering, render setup and here in assign renderer this is the missing renderer problem. Open this and let's choose mental ray renderer. Okay. And now if you see the material editor or it becomes okay. Oh. Um, there are still some empty slots here. Um, so do one thing, um, go to utilities and uh, reset material editor slots. And now everything is okay. Now let's delete unwanted things from the scene. I want only one bulb in the scene. So the rest of the things I delete. Now let's rotate and align the bulb correctly. This bulb is grouped. If you open the group, every single part will look separate. For now, uh, let it be grouped only. Now to make the whole scene, let's start. And uh, first of all, let me make a holder for this bulb. For this, I take a cylinder and put it here. Radius may be down a bit. Adjust it a little bit. Height may be a bit down. Now take another cylinder and uh, Put it here. Make the edges smooth. Now I'll make a small room here. So take a box and drag in the viewport. Adjust all the things. So this is the small room. Now apply some materials and textures to the models. So hit M to open the material editor and uh, in the first slot for the bulb I take yellow color and uh, make it 100% self illuminated. <coughs> now for the bulb first of all open the group and now bulb is separate. Now apply uh, this material onto the bulb. Now for the inner and outer parts, like for this part, take another slot, make the color uh, something like this and apply it onto this. Now for the inner part, which is still in group, again open it. Now this part is separate, this is separate, 
so uh, here I pick the filament and for this again I choose an empty slot I choose this kind of color and then apply it onto the filament now for the other parts which will be just like a transparent glass I take another empty slot and um, lower the opacity um, quite low and now apply it onto these meshes increase the specular level uh, quite high now let's pick uh, one more cylinder and drag it in the viewport to make the wiring pipe but I think uh, this is uh, quite an easy task for everybody for anybody uh, and I really uh, wouldn't cover this thing here so I skip this part here and uh, now it's done and now let's do texturing and it is always good to rename the material slots like uh, this slot is for bulb so rename it as bulb and uh, rename it like uh, uh, bulb bag or tail whatever and what was this for okay uh, it's for filament and rename it like uh, I, I don't know uh, maybe filament glass so many terminologies I hate it whatever now rename it as wall so let's pick a bitmap for the wall texture I have some dirty wall textures so I pick uh, this texture and while selecting the room I apply the texture uh, onto it I go back and drag the same diffuse map into the bump channel 2 as uh, instance ok put the value down like uh, 5 is enough and just like this I have applied some texture onto the pipe and uh, its accessories too and uh, now let's apply an omni light in the scene put it here uh, just on the front side of the bulb that's it turn the shadow on and uh, now if you render this you will find this big shadow this is because the bulb is casting the shadow on the wall so select the bulb right click and uh, in object property oh, uh, turn off this cast shadow option now the bulb will not cast any shadow now let's move towards lighting animation so first of all increase the opacity and self illumination of the bulb and now pick the light turn on the attenuation options and let's uh, and let's uh, first set the values of these adjust the pipe uh, a little bit now let's choose the color of the light uh, something like this adjust the values something like this make the multiplier value uh, 1 a round figure and uh, color may be a bit down now this looks good when the light is in the full intensity 
and uh, now I want if the light intensity goes down the overall illumination should also go down with that and vice versa it means the multiplier should control the attenuation values so pick the light right click on it and in wire parameter this multiplier will control the oh um, sorry uh, let me first open the group now once again multiply of the light will control the bulbs uh, self illumination so multiplier will control the self illumination this way and connect once again wire parameter multiplier of the light will control the opacity of the bulb and um, you can find the opacity in extended parameter and here is the opacity so multiplier of the light will control the opacity of the bulb this way and connect it okay now you can clearly see that uh, first open the material editor and this is the bulb slot this is the light and now if you decrease the multiplier value you can clearly see that the self illumination and opacity values are also decreasing these are going down these are going with the value of the multiplier great now just like this let's control the values of for attenuation so here go to wire parameter multiplier and this time connect it to uh, itself Omnilight and start of the far attenuation and now multiplier will control the attenuation far start this way connect it again repeat the same procedure wire parameter omni light multiplier again connect it to itself again omni light and this time choose attenuation far end and now the same multiplier will control the attenuation far end also initially the value is 300 it means if the multiplier is 1 then end value should be 300 but if you connect it now and update it it becomes 1 increase the multiplier value and you can see start and end values increasing 2 but what I want is that if the multiplier is 1 the start value should be 80 because 80 was the initial value before doing parameter wiring thing so to keep the same ratio intact uh, let's tweak some values here multiplier is controlling the start value so here multiply this value with 80 and then update it now you can see it has become 80 now now if I down the multiplier value the start value goes down too so now do the same thing with far value before uh, parameter wiring the value was 300 so here I multiply the multiplier value uh, with 300 and then click on update now you can see if I make it down how these values are going down too now let's animate the lights multiplier value I only have to animate the multiplier values and uh, all other values will be animated with the animation automatically so turn the auto key uh, button on and now I animate the multiplier value randomly there's uh, no fixed value I'm just uh, doing it randomly 
and you can clearly see that all other values are automatically going with the main animation. So now I have animated uh, the multiplier value till 100 frames. So this is the fluctuation I have created just now. I think it's pretty good. Now let's do something for the filament. If the light goes down too much, filament should be visible. So to do that, open the material editor and this is the slot for the filament and uh, here I will choose arc and design instead of standard and down here uh, this is self illumination turn it on and choose physical units and make the value something like uh, uh, 1 lakh since it is already applied onto the filament so render the scene and now it will look like this uh, one more step is left go to rendering render setup renderer and uh, here is camera shaders turn the output option on this will activate glare and now if you render the scene again you find this pretty good this is what I wanted so this is the complete animation now it's time to render the scene so go to rendering render setup and uh, here I choose the range uh, from 0 to 100 and save the file as um, bulb uh, bulb and uh, can take uh, TGA 24 bit that's it now press on render button and uh, the rendering starts since this rendering uh, process will take uh, some time to render so I come after some time and now the rendering is done now let's move to After Effects and uh, just import the rendered images. This is the old version and you can clearly see how it would uh, look like. So this is the output from today's tutorial. Here you can do color correction too, like uh, apply color balance on the footage, play with the colors and just play with the effects. So guys, I hope uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial. And one thing you need to remember that you can do so many things with parameter wiring. And this tutorial really explains that. You can have tremendous control on the things if you work with wire parameter. I hope you would enjoy that. In my next tutorials, I would uh, try to cover some more interesting things about wire parameter and will go uh, much deeper. So let's meet in my next tutorial. See you soon. This is Chandan Kumar from India for CG Tutes Plus exclusively. Bye-bye.